My research is about cognitive executive functions. Those are the uh, higher level control processes that people use to uh, control their everyday actions. People can be good at one thing like inhibiting uh, responses and then not so good at other things like switching between two different tasks. And a big part of it is looking at how different executive functions are related to each other. And that involves looking at genetic mechanisms, looking at uh, neuroimaging data. We will be funded to neuroimage uh, all of our twins from the longitudinal twin sample. We've basically followed them from birth. Um, it really provides a, a really unique, important data set that you just can't find anywhere else. One part of that data was yearly assessments of sleep problems that the kids had. Your life history of sleep problems is actually influencing your current cognitive ability. Even you know sleep problems that you had uh, five years ago still predict um, executive ability. One of my goals is just to better understand why people differ in these abilities. We found relations between uh, different executive functions and uh, attention problems in children, self-restraint abilities in children. Also, um, we see some relations to depression, uh, to substance use. And if we can understand that, maybe we could come up with some sort of treatment plans. Executive functions are sort of ridiculously heritable, and people do think that if you find that something's really highly heritable in a twin study, it means that environment's not important, that people are just born that way, and there's nothing you can do. And I think that's a misconception about um, behavior genetics in general.